Hello everyone, it is Rajachi Lasik on Lightning Lovic YouTube, and I am back with another educational video. And this is for Mac users and iMovie. And this is how to remove or add the fade to the uh, text boxes um, in iMovie. So I will be teaching you guys how to remove or add the fade to all of these. So what I mean by this is that every time you put one of these, it's always going to have that fade in the beginning. And I always ask myself that it's really annoying and I always wanted to know how do you remove this and I never learned how to, but it is as so easy, it is as easy as one, two, three, all you have to do is go here, double click the text thing, go to the inspector box, and right here it'll say fade in, fade out. And it's always going to be set to like 0.5 seconds, like right here. You want to click on manual, and you can adjust it however you want. This is how you add the fade, this is how you remove the fade. I'm not so sure if you can uh, tamper with this a little bit. Uh, I never tried this before. But if you want to remove the fade, simply just go to manual and go to where it says 0.0, .0 seconds. Click done. And if you go to the beginning, there is no fade. And the best part about this is that there's no fade at the end as well. I'm going to show you a couple more examples with these ones too. So these ones will have zero fade. Zero, and let's do this one. This one, interestingly, uh, this one surprises me that this one you could set to a zero second fade. And we're going to watch it. And it is very simple and easy, and it's very cool. No fade. It's all clean. Everything is there. Um, and yeah, these are just examples that I'm showing. The top, the bottom. Ooh, and this one. <clears throat> so, now I will show you how to add the fade. Pretty simple. Click on manual, and you just want to go all the way to the right. And click done. Let's actually do it with these ones too. Okay. And one more. And then this is how it will look. It'll fade slowly, and then slowly fade out. I know, it, it doesn't say, it says that it's uh, two seconds for some strange reasons right here. But really, I think it's just uh, half of it, you fade it, and then the other half, it fades away. Because anytime I try to adjust it, um, you know, I've actually have messed with it before, and it doesn't work so well. So, I'll tell you which text things you can do it with. You can do it with the centered one, the bottom, bottom right, top left, the echo, the, I believe this is the, uh, zoom. Um, this is the date and time, uh, the white gradient, I believe. Uh, this one's just, a, uh, you know, I don't really know the ones. This one's the torn page. Uh, another one like this, the black radiant, um, another one of these, the torn page that is black and the torn page that is like a beige. And the ones that you cannot do it with is um, the overlap, the four corners, the credits, and the drifts. Um, I'm surprised you cannot do it with this one, the horizontal blur, but you can do it with the other one. Um, that is soft edge, lens flare, oh yeah, it was this one, pull focus, you can't do it with that one either, buggy lights, um, I forgot what this one was called, this is the like organic one, another one, uh, ticker, the clouds, the far far away, and those are the only ones you cannot do it with, so yeah guys, that is how you remove or add the fade to your um, text boxes in iMovie 
and I've even set up a little presentation on how it looks like if you wanted to make one yourself with the normal fade so this is what it looks like how it normal faded and then it goes away with no fade boom it's all right there clean and cut and then this is what more fade slowly fades in stays there and then slowly fades out yeah so I think with the one where it's more fade where it says two seconds but it's six seconds and I think that uh, two seconds in it uh, fades in and for the other two seconds it stays normal and at the end it just goes away and yeah so that is how you adjust the fade uh, text boxes remember these are ones you can do it with you can do it with all these you cannot do it with all these and this is how it looks like of course so I hope you enjoyed the video if you need any more help with iMovie, I would be gladly to help anyone in the comments. I will try my best. And I really hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope it helps out other people that, are, uh, that work with iMovie on a Mac. And I hope to come back with more educational videos on this for all of you to enjoy. So, please like, subscribe, and I'll catch you later. Bye.